150 photographers and nine world-class instructors headed down to the Bahamas in 2015 for this year's F-Stoppers workshops, the ultimate photography experience. I came here to the F-Stoppers workshop to take Peter Hurley's um, headshot intensive course. There's nothing like being in the class in person, really getting that energy. I took Rob Grimm's um, Still Alive product and liquids. And I've been following Rob and Tony for a couple of years now and I, I, their work is amazing. And just meeting them in person and see how they work is, is priceless. Not necessarily because you wanna do what they do, but it's just like an eye opener so you can see how you can take your own creativity to the next level. I came out here last year, I took Pi Jersey's Wedding 101. When I first heard that they were coming back out to do the same sort of workshop, I think I was probably the first person to sign up for the 201, and I'm so glad that I did. I do not shoot weddings, but I'm here just for Pi's class. <laughs> You know, aside from being with the students and being with just people in general that are extremely talented, that are passionate about photography, outside of that, seeing all of the aha moments, you can literally see like the eyes light up when they go, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I can do that. Because it was at a destination, because people actually had to travel to get here, there was a commitment amongst all of my students, every single one of them. I have to say what I enjoyed most about the workshop is that people are coming from all over the place, literally from all over the world. From the Netherlands. From Guatemala. From Greenville, South Carolina. From Holland. From Denmark. From California. At first, F-Stoppers was a place where I could go uh, to read posts from guys like Aaron Nace or Julia Kuzmenko, uh, who were doing things that I was like in awe of, to be able to put you know, her image next to mine and see that I'm actually making headway and that my results are becoming more like the thing that I have in my head. That was a huge uh, decision for me to come to the workshop. There are so many photography workshops that take place all over the world and we wanted ours to be much more than just another photography workshop. We really wanted to have an element of both camaraderie but also accessibility. We wanted everybody to feel like they could hang out, become friends, and still learn from the instructors that they're taking classes from. Favorite part of the classes are uh, actually just uh, to be uh, with the instructors. You can ask them, you can ask them actually everything. The first day I got here on the Facebook group, one of the instructors asked if uh, someone could hold a sun bounce for him. And I went out and shot with him for eight hours with him and his models. For I wasn't even taking his class. Like we hung out last night and ate and I was by myself and they're like, where are you going? Like you need to sit with us. And I don't really know these guys, but they brought me over and we were able to hang out. Photography can be this cutthroat business where everybody feels like the person next to them is trying to take their job away, but here all that is put aside. You know, people were pulling each other's pelican cases down the sand, you know, they, they're carrying each other's bags, they're lending out lenses. I've learned so much from people that were not in my class not just teachers, but just the people that come to these classes, so it's been really nice to meet people. Everybody is really supporting each other. The students are giving positive reinforcement to me, I'm giving it to them. I mean, you can't walk out of here without feeling more inspired and wanting to do more photography. I think my favorite aspect of the, of the workshop is the camaraderie that we have here. I go to a lot of big workshops, and you know, I go to the big ones and I, and I love them and they're crazy and fun and we have a good time. This is intimate. I went out and we ate at Nobu last night with a full table of students and then we went to you know the bar afterwards and hung out and then we played crafts together and then we you know went to down the slides together and you're just hanging out with these people and uh, soaking up as much knowledge as you can. So all of the workshops this year were two-day workshops which means that 
the most each student could take would be two different classes with two different instructors, meaning that you would miss out on the majority of the instructors who are actually there. So what we did was on Friday, we do this event called the Friday Forum where each of the instructors talk to the entire group. And this is a time when everybody can get together. We provided dinner and all nine instructors talked for about 15 to 30 minutes on whatever topic they wanted. I was so lucky to come in Friday on time to catch the forum. You know, not being able to take all the classes and to only be here for half the time, to hear all the instructors speak, it was golden nuggets of information and, you know, that was so valuable, so valuable. This year we had way more opportunities to socialize. We had free drinks supplied by B&H every night. We had an opening party on Wednesday night. On Friday, we moved the forum to Friday night, which really opened up the entire day. So people went scuba diving, they went on personal shoots, they went to the water slide, everybody went out and uh, sailed with Peter Hurley. Earlier today, we went sailboating with Peter Hurley, which was awesome, you know. I don't know how to swim, but I took a chance and went out there and, <laughs> you know, I was holding on the ropes, but I did it and uh, I got some really great photos, so that was amazing. The Bahamas is really a dream location for a workshop like this because not only do you have you know, amazing locations outdoors, but you have all these incredible locations at Atlantis itself. So if you're shooting on the beach, or if you're shooting near the water park, and then if you're uh, in the penthouse suites with Mike Kelly, it really has something for everybody. And this is important because our students are able to take pictures that they can then put in their portfolios, and they look like a complete photograph. We went up to a $15,000 a night penthouse overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. It's just absolutely gorgeous and I taught my students how to deal with, you know, really challenging dark and enclosed spaces where you have to capture a view, you have to make it lit, but you can't make it look lit, but you gotta make it look surreal. There are so many different puzzles and challenges to solve that obviously we can't fit it all into one workshop, but I think we did a great job of covering as much of the hard stuff as we could. This workshop, unlike many other workshops, is very family-oriented, and I like that because it gives me a chance to meet everybody's significant others and their children. It's just a very cool community, and Atlantis makes that perfect. Uh, I brought my family down here, so uh, they've been able to uh, go off and have a lot of fun. They get to play when I, I feel like I'm playing, too. We never really got to take a honeymoon, so my husband and I were just really excited that we could both come here so we got to spend a whole day at the water park facing my fears of heights and water and all this kind of stuff and just have our own adventure, make our own memories before I went into class. Last year when we did the workshop, we were really shocked how many people came from all over the United States and all over the globe. And it was really rewarding for us to see how many students returned. And I know in that time period between the first workshop and the second workshop, we've actually seen a lot of these students you know, overseas in Europe, we've seen them in the United States. So it really brings this homegrown feel back to the workshop when we see repeat students come back for a second time. It's really refreshing to come somewhere like this where you're remembered after a year and people are genuinely asking kind of in the five minute gaps, how, how are you doing? Like, you know, Steve, we haven't seen you for a year. Like, you know, is your business going good? Like, you know, are you making money? <laughs> You know, all, all the things that kind of really make a friendship a friendship and a friendship that lasts, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back out here next year and kind of seeing these same guys again and asking, you know, are you killing it within your field? So it's, it's fun. You b get to bond a lot with, with people, like for years. There's nothing else like this for photographers, from food photographers to wedding photographers to swimsuits and just everything. It all comes together and we can all become friends and learn from each other. And there's just nothing else like that, really. We're not sure if we're ever going to do another event like this. If this was the last year ever, I wanna thank you guys so much for making it a huge success. And if you want to stay up to date to see if we do ever throw another F-Stoppers workshop, head over to fstoppersworkshops.com and we will have all of the information there. If you enjoyed this photography related video, check out some of our other photography tutorials and behind the scenes videos here. And please feel free to subscribe to the official F-Stoppers YouTube channel below.